Fresh and Famous Radio. Is moving to XM Radio. Welcome, 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 Radio Host JL.com, Fresh and Famous Radio. This is an exclusive interview with, man, the son of Bad Boy Records chairman, P. Diddy Combs, and he's dropping a new music video. Man, it's it's gonna be crazy. Quincy, what's the deal, Doc? Fresh and Famous, what's happening? What's happening? How's it going? Man, do you like that sound? Like Fresh and Famous. That's a pretty dope name, huh? Yeah, that is, that is. I like that. <laughs> I hate when people think of my ideas. <laughs> so I seen that you were at Coachella uh, last weekend. How was that? How was the vibe? Coachella is absolutely unreal. Such an experience, you know. If you haven't, you know, been a part of that whole uh, festival experience, you definitely have to go. You know, with two weekends of, of, of madness and crazy and, and, and music, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely something. You, it's a must go. You know, I, I'm 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 partied out and, 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 and music listened out. That's even a, a phrase, but. I was thinking about going again in week two, but I'm, 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 I'm drained. You know what I mean? I had to experience. It was fun. You know what I mean? I'll wait till next year. It was absolutely uh, Come on, man. You're, you're the son of, of P. Diddy. He's like the man at partying, dog. You're supposed to be there every day. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I know when to take a breather, though. You know? Yeah. So. <laughs> The opposite, the opposite. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, were a lot of your fans there, man? Like, did you get to t- like take pictures and you know interact with your fans? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, immediately when I start tweeting and, and Instagramming that I was there, you know, I mean, I saw a lot of people Instagramming me back, like you know, comments like, "Oh my gosh, I'm here. I hope I meet you." I ended up meeting probably like twenty or thirty. You know what I mean, fans, which is cool. You know, right. I'm taking pictures with them and whatnot. But yeah, it was fun. You know, it, I mean, it, it's it's a hundred thousand plus people out there, so you're yeah. not gonna run into anybody. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now you were also at uh, WrestleMania, man. How was that? Uh, that was unreal. As a kid, I'm I'm a wrestling fanatic. You know, I know mm-hmm. all the moves. I know how to do them. I know all the people. You know what I mean? So it, it was it was like I actually kind of like took a break from it and haven't really been in tune with it. Mm-hmm. But that was kind of like my first, you know, time going back in a long time, which was just so fun and and and. and I mean, I was backstage, so I got to meet all the wrestlers. I ain't never met all the wrestlers before, so I got to meet them. You know, wow. Booker T and The Rock, of course, Big Show. I mean, everybody who I looked up to as a kid is still doing it. That's, wow. that, that's, that's like the dumbest thing ever. I mean, but yeah, that was definitely an experience. That was like 80000 Wow. I mean. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. So here's a question that I have, man. Why, why just Quincy? Why did you just call yourself Quincy? Why did you make that, you know, what people know you by? Right. Well, of course, you know, there's a lot of people out here, you know I mean, not, not saying no name specific, but a lot of people, you know, when they try to find themselves, sometimes they try to go overboard and kind of become someone they're not, mm-hmm. you know, and, and that comes with stage names, that comes with, you know, a lot of other things as well. But me, branding myself as Quincy, you know, that's on my birth certificate. Mm-hmm. You know, that's who I am. You know I mean? That's who I'm going to be presenting myself as. Right. You know, I'm not, I, I just, you know, not comfortable with myself to a point where I want to, you know, put on and, and, you know, step outside of the box, outside of who I am. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Everything I do is going to be me. You know what I mean? I'm taking all my faults. I'm, I'm, my, all my decisions, you know, are my decisions. You know? mm-hmm. Of course, you know, being in this industry, you know, everything's like a team effort help, you know, between, you know, managers and, and, and stylists and whoever, you know, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I am me and I'm going to give you all of me from core, you know what I mean, 100% truth, you know, so it's like, what better way not to, to bring yourself as yourself, wow. you know, so, definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm giving them what I am, you know what I mean, definitely. I'm giving them all, all of me. Definitely, definitely logical answer right there. So tell us what uh, Q-Stream is. Q-Stream, uh, um, Q-Stream is definitely something where I can connect with my fans and kind of give fans a little more of a, of a, of a first kind of, basically, I, I don't like people to feel like fans. You know what I mean, I, mm. I, even though I may not be able to talk to everybody or connect with everybody as I plan to, mm. but this is definitely a way. You know what I mean, well, let's, let's not take away from actually what it is. It is Ustream, right. Ustream.tv, you know what I mean, which is obviously the video 
on shouting them out and answering the questions live. You know, they, they, they type something right then and now. I'm going to answer it right then and there. You know, it's not like a, it's not like a, you know what I mean? Everything's real time, you know? Yeah. So the fact that people can connect and, and I, I can set like a time and I have people waiting um, for me to actually use stream, you know, that makes me feel good that I actually have those type of people who are, are dedicated with me and, and, and want to connect with me just as much as I, as I want to connect with them. So you stream, Q stream, I mean, it's definitely a way for me to, Definitely, definitely. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Now, um, it's all over your, you know, your mentions, your Twitter, your Instagram. Everybody, all of the fans are ready for the newest music video that you're release, releasing. Tell us about that a little bit, man. Give it to detail since this, this is the first interview before you release it. Um, you know, just give us some yeah, some well, information on it, man. Definitely. Well, the video um, is titled "The First Thing." Um, that's my new, my new single. I'm um, um, very R&B vibe. Very. Uh, crazy dude because all of your videos are legit you know from like quality to production like everything is legit so i could just imagine thank you, thank you, how, thank you. how this one is yeah, gonna be yeah. i think i think i definitely think that's like the most important thing is to make sure you know i mean the visuals mm -hmm. are you know uh, are captivating i mean no matter who's watching and the women so, you have to make sure the women are captivating yeah. too you can't oh, have no oh, ratchet of course yeah that's, that's That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Here's uh, another question that we have. What's the life like, dog? You know, like from being related to a, a huge entrepreneur, you know, singing, going to events and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. What's that whole life like, dog? I mean, it's definitely a blessing. You know, I don't take anything for granted. I mean, it definitely started over the years, you know, at a young age, you know, I was brought into this, you know, life and, and a lot of, you know, award shows and traveling and stuff like that. I mean, it's great to experience all of it. You know, I'm thankful. Like I said, it's definitely a blessing. You know, I appreciate it all. And I mean, it's good to be around the stuff, you know, when you're little, just, just in case you do kind of fall into this life or fall into this, you know, this music business. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I've kind of, you know, got to see it at a young age and, 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 and experienced it firsthand. So I know everything that goes on. I'm, I'm aware of everything. So it's not like if I want the music, I'm just starting music. And now I'm like, I don't know anything about the business. And everything is kind of like a shock and confusion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, mean, I, I definitely, I definitely took this whole life experience as, as something to learn from. You know, I mean, it was like it was like a big teacher to me. You know, so it's like me diving into this music industry, and I kind of already know a lot. You know, I mean, rather than just you know being brand new to the game and, and not knowing and having to start from scratch, I kind of had like a little a boost, you know, a little head start. Definitely. So, I mean, it's definitely definitely fun. You know, I mean, it, it is it is uh, exciting. Yeah. I'm not going to not say that because it is, you know, getting to travel, getting to go to all the award shows. So I definitely have fun, but at the same time, take it for, you know, as a blessing and, and something I, I learn from. Definitely. Definitely. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, Quincy. My Twitter is going nuts right now, dog. A lot of listeners want to know. They have a few questions that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out a Q and a And, of course, Q is for Quincy. A is for the audience because a lot of them have questions that they want to answer. But uh, we're going to minimize it and, you know, shorten it down. And, you know, you can, we're, we just want to see what, what's up with you. All right, dog? Definitely, definitely. 
All right, so here's uh, Q&A number one. Nickname that she went by in high school. Nickname, oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> you know, being in school, I never really, you know, I'm not one to boast about my family or whoever, you know, I, I'm not, not one to do that at all. So it's like, once everyone found out who my family was and stuff like that, they started calling me Q Diddy. I don't, I don't know <laughs> why. I, I, mean, I like no way. way. Q like Diddy? Name, but, <laughs> but Q Diddy. But, you know, it's, hey, I, I, I took it for what it was. You know, it was fun, <laughs> but they call me Q Diddy. Nice, nice, nice. Q&A number two, um, your favorite basketball team all time? Favorite basketball team all time? Well, what year are we locked in? Can we go back to Knicks 98? <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> let's, you know, let's, go to, let's go to the 2000 <laughs> era. <laughs> I'm, I'm a definitely a Laker fan. You know I mean, always. You know I mean, and especially right now, I'm kind of upset about the whole Kobe. Oh you know man, I mean, isn't that crazy? On, but that's nice. Yeah, it's just so crazy. But you know, I'm, I'm staying native. I'm staying, you know, true, true to, to, to the city and to the team. So I am gonna say Lakers. I mean, Clippers too. Like I'm so all around with it. Like I got homies on the Clippers and stuff. So it's like, you know, but Lakers, I, I go with the Lakers. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, Q and A number three. Um, best place that you've ever been to, um, you know, I guess to visit? Best place? Probably has to be Japan, Tokyo. Um, that's nice. kind of a place where I kind of set a goal to make sure I go to very soon and went there and everything I expected it to be, it was more. You know, in that experience, I went with uh, my boy Alfredo, my mom. You know what I mean, we definitely just took over that whole city in like five, six days and I had the best time. Such a dope experience. It was a culture shock, but it was a culture shock that was like, I want to come back and live here. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Q and A number four. Uh, are you ever going to get the the Johnny Bravo hairstyle back? Yeah, the Johnny Bravo hairstyle. You know, maybe now because I, I posted that in my little throwback Thursday. A lot of people were like, Oh my God, this is your look. You should go back to this. <laughs> but you know, that's not like nothing natural. That kind of was like a you know, I had to straighten my hair. It was a process, you know. And, <laughs> Q&A, uh, here's another one. One thing that you absolutely hate about women. Just one thing. Mm. Um, when they pound their face with makeup, I do not like that. <laughs> I don't want to hug you. I don't want to hug you and your makeup is on my face or, or, or my, my hoodie. Uh. You, know, she, you know, women are beautiful without it. Yeah, I can understand a little touch-ups here and there. Boom, 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 that's fine. But you know when you are going overboard. You know when it takes you 30 minutes to do your makeup. It's a little too much. <laughs> Word to my mother. Word to my mother. All right, here's another one. Q&A. One thing that you love about women. Um, I love women who make me laugh. You know, I, 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 love, I, love, I love humorous people. You know what I mean? And obviously, I'm attracted to women. So for a woman to be humorous and can, and can really get my attention by making me laugh, I can't ask for more. Nice, nice, nice. Another Q&A question that we have. Uh, what's the craziest music video behind-the-scenes experience that you've had so far? Craziest music video behind-the-scenes? <laughs> let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, it would have to be a long time ago when uh, when my dad shot his video for Bad Boy for Life. That was probably the most eventful day oh, I've nice. ever had. Jack and Snoop and we were all riding the scooters. I mean, we were, it was literally from like 7 a.m. to like 7 in the morning um, the next day. Like we were straight up shooting. It felt like a 24-hour day shoot. Yeah. And I just had so much fun on that. can't remember every, every specific, but that was probably my most memorable video behind the scenes experience. Nice, nice. And last but not least, Q&A. Have you ever, ever pranked your dad back yet? 
He blasted you on YouTube, dog. You have to get him back. <laughs> Definitely, man. Quincy, I want to thank you so much for experimenting. RadioHostJL.com, dog. It was definitely a pleasure having you on the air. Before we go, though, just, of course, give us some shout-outs and a few more promo information. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for, you know, allowing me to intrude this interview. You know, and just make sure everybody follows me and, and, and tweet me. I'm on Instagram, Quincy, Twitter, Quincy, YouTube.com, slash Quincy, wherever you want to, you know what I mean, however you want to contact your boys. Just, you know, I'm Quincy, so... That, that's, that's what it is, you know, shout-outs to m Rock, shout-outs to Video Chris, shout-outs to my director, Mike Ho, for the first thing, video, everybody part of it, hope y'all enjoy this video. Definitely, definitely, check out the video on RadioHostJL.com, once it's launched, follow him at Quincy, Q-U-I-N-C-Y, hit him for all information, and man, this Boston situation, dog, before we go, just give out some words of encouragement to, you know, the people, the listeners and the fans out in Boston right now. Man. thing that I mean that happened. I, I really couldn't believe when I first read it, you know, but you know, my heart is with everyone. Obviously this is such a I mean I, I really want to know the answers to it, like exactly what exactly happened or, or not, not what happened but obviously what who was involved with this, how did this come about, you know, like this this we literally have some devils on this earth who just I guess are just mentally sick in the head, you know, and yeah. and for the ones that lost, you know, I'm not sure how many, you know um, or, you know, injured to the point where people got killed, but, you know, no matter what, there's a lot of injured, you know, some died, so that's probably one of the saddest things I've, I've, I've uh, heard, you know, in the past, I mean, obviously besides the, you know, the, the, the Newton shooting mm -hmm. and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, but to all the families, to everyone who, who knows someone that was involved in that, you know, my heart's to you, I mean, my support, obviously, you got the nation standing behind you, and, I mean, that's, yeah. uh, Definitely, definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Q, man, thank you so much for being on here, answering the Q&A questions. Fresh and Famous Radio, RadioHostJL.com. We're going to talk to you later and keep you updated. All right, Doc?